Hey guys, this is George from Georgia One Apple and on this video I'll be showing you how to install Windows XP Service Pack 2 on your Mac via bootcamp. So the first thing you're going to need is a copy of Windows XP. So it can either be a legitimate copy you bought from any store in the US or um, you can download a free copy like I have right here. And I don't know if you can see I have um, um, I have put the serial number right here with a piece of paper with adhesive in the back and you can do the same thing or just write it down with marker right here um, and you're also going to need to write it down in a piece of paper so you can either have a post-it and write it down real fast and put it aside so once you have that um, you're going to go to your utilities Um, boot camp assistant. You're gonna open that up, and here you're gonna click continue. And this is the part where you're gonna set up how much space do you want your Windows hard drive to have. So I only have 39 gigabytes free, so I can't really put more than 39. But um, I'm just gonna leave it in. in 10 gigabytes. I'm not really gonna use it much, so I'm just gonna leave it in 10 or no, I'll just put it in 15. So you can divide equally, um, which I can't right now because I don't have enough space on my OS 10 partition, or you can use 32 for a FAT32 um, file system. So once you have the amount you want, you're gonna click on partition. And this should take a um, a pretty long while, depending on the amount of um, of gigabytes you put on your partition. So once this is over, you're gonna see a uh, a bootcamp partition right here, down to your Macintosh partition. And I'll continue when this is over. Okay, guys. So my Mac finished um, partitioning the hard drive, and now you can see I have. Uh, bootcamp partition um, 15 gigabytes and my Mac partition so here you see the start installation CD and what I'm going to do right now is insert my Windows CD um, which I have right here so I'm going to insert it into the super drive And this is very important to make it work. Um, you have to um, wait for your Mac to recognize the CD. So you have to wait for it to show up right here. Or else it won't work and it will give you an error. Okay, so there you see the CD is in and it recognized everything fine. So now you're gonna click on start installation. So now I'll continue this video with my digital camera recorder. Okay guys, so we're back in the Mac. And you can see we're in the bootcamp assistant and we have the start installation window. So um, you can see my Windows CD is already inside and it's recognized by my Mac. And the bootcamp partition is right there and my Macintosh partition. So once um, it's very important that your Mac recognizes the CD perfectly. So once it's right there, you're gonna click on Start Installation. Click on it, and your Mac should reboot into Windows um, Setup and everything. Okay, guys. So it just rebooted. And here we have a Windows setup screen. And here you see all the things that it's loading, all the files loading. And you can see setup's loading files. And you can see all these files loading up right here. 
So once that's done, it's gonna say set up the starting windows, and you should see uh, all your partitions. So I'll just continue to that part. Okay, guys. So now the setup is starting up windows, and um, now you should see this. Um, go ahead and click enter F8 if you agree. Now you should see these um, partitions. So you're gonna go down to your boot camp partition and go ahead and click enter. And now you're gonna select your file system. So um, you can either use a FAT file system, this is only if you have 32 or less gigabytes, or a NTFS file system. And you can also do the quick mode of any of those. Um, I don't recommend you converting the partition FS or anything like that. And never leave the current file system intact. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with the NTFS file system. Press F. And now you should see setup is formatting. So once the setup is form um, is done formatting, it's gonna start copying some files into the partition, and then it will reboot again into the Windows setup installation and everything. So I'll just jump to that part to make the video short. Okay, so it finished um, formatting, and now you should see this um, setup is copying some files, and this should go a bit faster than the formatting part so once this is over um, your Mac will reboot again into Windows XP so I'll show you what's next okay so we're here we have a Windows XP um, boot and now you should see a setup that will take approximately 40 minutes to finish so here you see um, all the features in Windows XP Search Pack 2 and here you see it takes approximately 39 minutes 40 minutes and then I'll show you how to install the additional drivers from um, OS 10 okay so here we have the regional and language options can change these things by going to customize and details and you can see the standards um, are English United States and location United States so I'll just click next here you're gonna type name hit next and here you're gonna enter your product key so you can see I have it right here I'm just gonna type that in okay so there we have the product key and I'm gonna hit next here I'm gonna password And computer name, you can just leave it how it is. Hit next. Now the time zone. Um, set the date and um, time zone. I'm just gonna select Buenos Aires, Georgetown. It's the nearest to my location. And hit next. So New York should continue, and when this work finishes. Um, you're gonna see another network settings screen okay so here we have networking settings we have tippings or custom settings I'm just gonna leave it in typical here um, work group or anything like that computer domain just leave how it is unless you want to change it and now it should continue 